Hi everyone, welcome to Gaming with Gigi. My name is Gigi and I am going to go ahead and get started with my first video ever with Animal Crossing. Now I am obsessed with this game and this is my first island ever. I've been playing since release date. Now this island I did spend tons of hours on in the beginning but now I kind of just go on and do things here and there and it's more relaxed just kind of um, going with the flow I don't time travel here so it does take a little longer to do certain things um, but it's pretty much done I do still have a couple things that I want to finish but for now I think it's a good starter point or a starting point for you guys to see where I am with my first island so far now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the map now I do use a lot of in-game pathing just because in the beginning there wasn't a lot of custom paths that I particularly liked. So I just stuck to the in-game pathing. I do use some custom pathing here and there. But yeah, I stick to the in-game pathing for most of the time. Now I do have these villagers, my 10 villagers. I have Cherry, Pashmina, Blair, Sid, Meringue. Bunny, Blue Bear, Bam, Quilson, and Biscuit. Some of these have been with me since the beginning. Others, we've kind of just been letting them come and stay here. We like to experience other villagers and their personalities, so we're pretty open when they ask us to leave. It just depends. I never will let Sid go. I love him. Um, but, and Cherry, I think, too. We both love cherry and biscuit just because they've been with us since the beginning but aside from that i think we are pretty open to changing up our villagers every once in a while now this is my character this is my husband's character we've shared the island since the beginning as well and we have two other villagers this is because i do have a school house that i made and then this is a diner now the school is completed, the diner is not, but I won't be touring any of the insides or any of the interiors of these houses. I just want to show you guys where I am with my island so far and how it looks and what type of things I still have to complete. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this is my entrance. Again, I made this entrance a long time ago when I was first kind of playing around with terraforming and waterscaping I added this snowflake light up at the front of my island just to give it that kind of holiday flare I don't have any of the other DIYs I don't know what's wrong with this account but I never get any of them I have only I only got three plus the ones that came for toy day and that's it and then you'll see them here so I have the large tree and then the candle plus the gifts and the sleigh so I left them here because it's December and yeah who cares it's still the holidays I love it and then right when you come in you will see resident services so this is one of the things that I, sh I feel like I should have thought of more I wanted resident services right in the beginning but now I wish I had it farther just so that I could have a bigger entrance or more freedom to have a bigger entrance but it is what it is it's fine I made it work and then we have bunny doing her yoga yeah she's so cute and if we go to the right, I do have like a little display area for the flowers. I have all the color of the flowers. All the colors of the flowers except for blue. I mean the blue rose. So I'm literally in the middle of trying to make the blue rose. But I have all the others. And they will be moved to kind of a flower area, a garden area later on. But right now that area is being taken up by the blue rose <laughs> breeding fiasco. Now if you come down to my beach, I have this area set up to make like a rental, like a beach rental area, but I haven't done that yet. I do have it here just so that I can remember this is where I want it. And then this is kind of our original hangout area. I left it here just as like nostalgia. The little items that we could find, we put together a little area for ourselves. It just reminds me of when we started. And then we have a little soccer field here. 
we both love soccer so I thought it would be great plus I mean there's not really an easy way to make any other type of field and I feel like soccer was perfect to make it small and then I have like a little bakery area up here with little seating oh no I don't want to go that way let's sit again thank you my villagers used to hang out here all the time but lately I haven't seen them up here too much and now this is the work in progress which is my diner even this tree here like no I don't like it there I really don't like any of the frozen things I don't know what to do with them I just made it just to see how it looked because I had none of the holiday stuff so I was like okay well at least a frozen tree should work and then this is my schoolhouse with their little book I love this DIY it's one of my favorites and I have a little like playground area for the kiddos I used the balloons from the firework event in the summer I thought they went well and then if you go over here I put some of the flowers green red and white to go with the holiday theme or I just give it a little holiday pizzazz and then this is my husband's zen area we moved it here it wasn't here before this used to be kind of a little camping area but the zen area was way too big and it was kind of hidden so nobody would go in there now my villagers go in there and use it and it's right next to my husband's house so he has his own flowers no pashmina oh perfect well i don't even know why she would sit there but okay you do you girl and then he has these two models i hate them i hate the tarantula one i get scared all the time thinking it's a real tarantula and he has a little deck with a pool his own tree oh coulson coulson honey what are you calling me for I think I have all the reactions, so I don't think it would be for a reaction. Let's see what he wants. Personal question. I know some folks call you Muffin. Can I do that too? Yes, of course. Muffin is my favorite nickname. The other nicknames that I've had have been terrible. I, I don't even know. But that one's so cute. Alright, so right in front of my husband's house... He has like a little park area. Again, I was just playing around with things that I had just learned. So I had cut down trees at different stages and left little stumps. I think they're so cute. And then we have a little work area. Missing tons of material because I just went through a DIY spree for my other island. I do have a second island because I got the ACNH switch. So I started a secondary island and that one's more for design so I time travel, I do whatever I gotta do because I am working more with designing and terraforming, things like that. But yeah, so this is like a mermaid beach area. I use all the shell DIYs, I love them. I love this color of them. I think this is a pearl color if I'm not mistaken. So if you customize them, I just love this color. And I have these little custom designs on the floor. I think they go perfectly. And I'm not going to go to the left. I'll come back to that later. I'm going to go back to the middle. So right behind Resident Services, we did have these flowers. And I put them here because they're kind of the entrance to the shopping district. So I have my Able Sisters and my Nook's Cranny together. Let me show you. And I love it. I love having like a shopping district just because I feel like it's a downtown area. So Nook's Cranny has the two little scooters for Timmy and Tommy. And they have their vending machines to get a snack or anybody else. 
And then when you go to the right, we have the Able Sisters. And they have like a little Starbucks coffee shop right next to them with a little reading area. I, I am missing a chair here. I need one of these. And maybe like a rug design would be nice here. And maybe open it up. I think I'm... Yeah, I think opening it up more is going to be better. But yeah, like I said, I'm not done with it. It's a work in progress, people. And then over here, I have a picnic area. Oh my, I just cleaned these flowers out yesterday. Look at them. Everywhere. I cannot. The snow. The snow kills me. <laughs> Alright. When you go up the this incline we're gonna head into kind of the villager area now i wanted my villagers to be all together or as together as i could and then i kind of changed my mind i wanted them to be here and on the third level but i was using the third level a lot for flower breeding so i ended up leaving it alone and so i have meringue cherry Look at Meringue. Isn't she so cute, guys? I love her. I just love her look. Like, I feel like none of the other villagers look like a dessert. I think she is adorably designed. And then we have Blair. Also, squirrels are so cute, too. I love her and Poppy. I think they're the cutest. Oh, and Philbert. He's super adorable. <laughs> My husband hasn't played in like a week, I think. I don't even know. They're so funny. And then this is Bunny. I have Blair. And as you can see, I have pumpkins everywhere. Just because I thought that event, we were going to need it. so many pumpkins. And yeah, we didn't really need that many pumpkins. We just needed one of each color. Um, and then here we have a forest of purple flowers purple is my favorite color but i honestly just kept these because i need them for the hyacinth lamp um and i am planning on making kind of a fairy fairy island fairy tale maybe something like that uh later on not right now so i want to keep those there since i need them and they're very hard to make and then we have another little foresty area park hang out my villagers do come near here all the time and then back here we have pashmina she has an official farm i do need to add a barrel and kind of like a watering can or something like that just to finish it up and then our newest villager is bluebeard she's so cute she is so cute um i used to have claudia wasn't a fan wasn't a fan guys she looks so sleepy i can't so she want to leave and we just got blue bear right now i love blue bear actually i'm gonna go through here and show you guys the other two villager houses that are down here so i have coolson over here kind of secluded but he does have a neighbor he has bam as his neighbor i love bam his house is so nice and it goes perfectly with this spot area that I had here. So I moved him over here and gave him this as his backyard. I think he has the biggest backyard all of them all. I'm pretty sure he does. I think he even has a bigger backyard than me. So yeah. That's eight villagers. So I'm going to go down here. Back here is just a beach area. It's not completed. I'm not going to go back there. Overgrown flowers and then this is like a seating area that we have here we've had this since the beginning i've just left it there again need to finish it and then this is a little picnic area by the beach this is where i started kind of using the custom pathing experimenting and then we have our museum so we have some of the museum items out here i do have this one that's haunted if you don't know about the haunted art look it up and no it's fake it's a fake art but it's cool it's cool to have something haunted and then oh my goodness i literally never walk over here look at all these flowers they've taken over ay 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 the snow 
and then these are other like these flowers are here just for keeps for now they are gonna go up to the garden area i have a color of each each color of the type of flower is that how you say it i don't know but they're just here so that i don't throw them away because i do go on a flower cleaning spree all the time i don't want to throw those away because i want to make sure i have the colors that i made it took me forever and then here we have a little fair area right by the boardwalk play games ride the teacups hang out on the boardwalk dance if we could dance we need that reaction very soon and then actually let me pick this diy up i wonder what it is i know you guys are dying to know oh and then this is my diy stash i just had to pick it up it looks so bad let's see i'm pretty sure i already have that yep <laughs> this is what happens when you've been playing for months it's so hard to get a new diy i don't have all the diys i know that for sure but i have a lot of them oh my goodness everybody wants to talk today hey i want you to have this here jumper work suit oh hey, thank you biscuit All right, it's real good shape. Thank you. I gotta give him something later. So let's go ahead and go to the right. What's up with my villagers sitting like in the way? I don't understand. All right, and then to my right, I have my tiki bar area. So we've had this since the beginning. I love it. It has all like the tropical fruits. Get your little drink, refresh. Maybe not now because it's freezing, but during the summer, it looks beautiful. And then Biscuit's always hanging out here playing one of the instruments. We have like a little hangout. Kind of a vacation spot for my villagers. And then right behind it is a little park area. My villagers love to come here. But they don't really sit here. They just kind of walk, look at stuff. And then Biscuit lives right here. He loves flowers. So I gave him flowers. They are overgrowing. But it's okay. And then I have a little hangout area for him and whoever is hanging out with him. And right behind him I have Sid. And yeah. These flowers are just here for keeps for now. Again, I'm not going to walk you to the back of the beach because there is nothing there. Is there a person right there? No. It's just flowers. <laughs> and then I have like a little ducky. Oh, The ducks are so cute. Just like the turtles. I used to have a turtle and I think um, my husband took it as a pet. And then this is my house. It's empty now because I just took out all of the holiday decor that I had here. I had some of the toys hanging out. Um, but I'm getting ready for whatever is to come next, I guess. And again, all the pumpkins in the world. I need to change that. I don't really need that many pumpkins anyways. And then when you go over here, we do have the campsite. Now the campsite's not done. I just moved it over here just to get it out of the way. Um, it's going to stay up here, but I haven't finished. I did add a bunch of uh, trees just to make it more woodsy. I'm going to add a couple more trees back here. And yeah, finish it up. This is going to be kind of like a fire. Uh, fire. Oh well, yeah, I guess. A fire area. <laughs> A bonfire hangout area I'm gonna put it down here and then this is gonna be kind of like a little campsite restaurant deal but I have it kind of to the side now so that one I could build the snowman disregard disregard this mess like ugh. I don't know if any of you have um, had this happen to you but if you put the snowman way too close to an object the bottom part and you try to push the top part on top of it, it won't go. It won't go because it doesn't have enough space for the animation. So I went to push it away 
and try it somewhere else and the bottom part went decided to go on top of it so yeah disregard this mess of a snow boy all right so then this area here i already started taking out some of these flowers these are for the purple pansy i already made it it came it finally came out my goodness that took forever they're actually right by my house so they're there i have two of them so that they can like reproduce or breed whatever you want to call it so i'm gonna get rid of those and then if you go this way i have my roses so they are breeding i'm following us some steps that are part of a youtube video i will link it down below but yeah i'm in the process of making my blue rose the long way <laughs> there is a shorter way with hybrid flower island but that was deleted from the game a long time ago i should have taken advantage of it when it first started the game but it is what it is roses are my island flower along with hyacinths and i did get some i did get the hybrid flower island but I mixed it in with every other flower so I don't really know which ones come from there and which ones don't anymore so I'm stuck doing the roses the long way but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed the tour again it's not completed but once it is completed I will give a full-on tour of my island um, I hope to see you guys again if you did like this video make sure you smash a like and you subscribe for my next video See you guys next time.